Hi, my name is Caleb Nation, and this is my year. So backstory, I grew up in Texas in a small town in the middle of nowhere with pigs and chickens and cows and demonically possessed goats. I hear a pig, so I'm starting to move fast to get out of here. I had to switch to widescreen just to see all of you, Isabel. But I always dreamed of moving to Hollywood and writing books. So that's what I did. This is my book, Harkin, and I'm living in Hollywood, my favorite place in the entire world. I have one roommate, and her name is Chilla. She's been living with me for about three years now, and despite the fact that I am her single source of food, is probably plotting to kill me right at this very moment. Meanwhile, my girlfriend lives in Alabama, but she's moving into an apartment six floors below mine right before New Year's. So I'm flying to Alabama now to go spend Christmas with her family and help her move to LA. I'm doing a documentary on your life. On my Did you life. know that? That's, now you know. Sorry, I've been filming you this entire time. Okay. Merry Christmas morning. I'm here with BFF Taylor. Say hi, Taylor. So, Miss Lazy. Hi. Still in bed. I'm tired. <laughs> So we're gonna do a, a, a miniature Christmas haul video, I guess is what we're gonna do, and Taylor's gonna help me, because I'm kinda sleepy. Uh, first off, starting with the obvious Angry Birds hat, which goes along with my Angry Birds shirt and my Angry Birds pajama pants. Let's see. My new Maserati for Christmas. Thanks, Santa. Gnome salt and pepper shakers. Reese's, my favorite candy. This giant box that has probably about 2,000 gummy bears in it. And then all of these personal grooming accessories. Um, I don't know if Santa's trying to send me a message with all of this stuff. One of my favorite things so far, this That's amazing cool. watch. Look at my pretty MacBook case. I can't pick it up, it's heavy. <laughs> you didn't something. mention your beard lube. Oh. Beard lube. Not only that, but I can write a journal of all of my One Direction memories while I am watching my One Direction DVD. I have more One Direction stuff than any a other straight male. A 12-year-old girl. Any 12-year-old girl who's obsessed with Harry Styles, I bet you anything that Caleb has out One done. Direction. One Direction, they're my boys. One Direction t-shirt. One Direction notebooks. Two. One Direction toothbrush with One Direction You haven't used it yet? It's pink. This is a collector's item. My One Direction DVD. My other One Direction notebook. I don't know what his name is, but he's he's my favorite. That's Louis. <laughs> I can write my One Direction fan fiction in this. And my favorite thing of all time, my giant One Direction blanket. I'm just a little bit of a fanboy. <laughs> What's your name? Mary Elliot. How old are you, Mary Elliot? See. You want to film yourself? Especially in Hold it. No! Wrong button! <laughs> Don't press that button again. Don't press it. Don't press it. Uh, what'd you get for Christmas? Nothing. I got a baby doll house. Okay, that's a little more than nothing. What does Santa bring you if you're bad? Six and mud. My baby cousin, Mary Elliot. She's mine. The cutest mine thing now. in the universe. I claim her. I have taken her. No. I have stolen her from he you. He has capitalized off of my adorable blood-related cousin here. And that child. Mary Elliot is so small that a ukulele is a guitar for her. What's your favorite song in the world? Um, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is your favorite song in the world. What's your favorite Taylor Swift song? Um, Chop Chop Everything Now. <laughs> What's it called? Shop, shop, everything now. Shop, shop, everything now. Really? <gasps> you got it up? Moving to LA. So excited. I just want to live in LA. That's it. You've been waiting on this for a been long time. We've been waiting on this for four years. I'm excited to not be long distance. 3,000 miles gets ridiculous. Yeah. 3,000 miles turned to like six floors is going to be so Weird. much better. Los Angeles.
Angeles. She just moved here. So what we've decided to do is that since I apparently live in the house where disorder rules, we're going to go and pick up all of the necessities like, you know, food, bath towels, clean water, and trash bags. Trash bags. Caleb yeah. does not have any of these things. How does it feel for your first day in Los Angeles? I'm exhausted. Yeah, it, it was a long flight. I slept most of the way. Um, I was sick the whole plane ride. It was great. I, so I didn't sleep at all. I didn't do anything. I just sat there in misery. Like my voice is going away right now. <laughs> Loving your first time in LA, aren't you? Loving it. Lost our luggage. <laughs> Love you, Delta. Yeah. Okay, but here's the thing. Delta did lose our luggage, but this guy named Gilbert P, who is over at the uh, counter at Delta, he actually took care of business. What? What was that for? He almost got hit. Okay, no, 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 no. This is, alright, lesson one of your move to LA. LA drivers, you don't drive defensively here. You drive aggressively here. Offensive driving. Like that. Like, see, they, they run out in front of you. No, because Caleb's not are, a very good driver. People are going constantly. I'm a very good I'm driver. I'm a glorious yeah. driver. And have I, I drive in SUV. Have I ever heard, have I ever gotten killed driving? Right now we're waiting on Taylor to go pick up the remainder of her bags. Oh, Hunter, show off the uh, the glow in the dark ring. There you way. See, I gave Hunter, this is the new uh, rings for Harkin, my book that's coming out. We've got these made. They actually, they're silver and they kind of gleam a little bit, but they, they glow in the dark. What's a bad thing about having a boyfriend who's a writer? You are such a diva when you get into writing. Goes into his cave, all of his blinds are closed. He has Red Bull at his side. What's a good thing about having a writer as a boyfriend? Very romantic letter written to me. They're very sweet and they're well written. He knows the difference between your and your. This year on January 13th, my newest book called Harkin, my book for teens, my pride and joy, I've been working on it for many, many years, is coming out. You've been so excited, I've heard all about it yeah. since before we were even dating. I feel like Harkin is gonna take over a lot of my 2013. I believe in you, Kale Nation. I believe in myself. That was really soulful. Now we have plenty of things for Taylor's short stay with me. Sharing a bathroom with a boy is gross. Don't yeah. do it. Out in the hallway, I said hello. The dance is this Friday. Do you Alright, so how do we meet? We met at Playlist Live, the very first Playlist Live. I was sitting across the table from him and he goes, Hey, you're BFF Taylor. And I'm like, yeah. We were out, it was probably what, two or three in the morning. Dave Days and Nick Asar were doing this dueling pianos thing and everyone just had their cameras out at like two in the morning. You scared me whenever I met you. I thought he was cute. He didn't really talk that much, but we just texted Asian randomly. Lady. You were in one of my music videos. And on that day, all the believers rose up. And then, VidCon, VidCon 2012. <laughs> yeah. I walk in the door at VidCon and one second stepping through the door, this one runs up to me and she says, Date me. <laughs> and I didn't think she was serious because we've been friends for so long. Later on that evening, the first evening, we were at, uh, there was this party. And it was like a VIP event. She got caught at the door with security as I had hoped she would. And I had to go save her and be like, yo, she's with me. Somehow, her hand ended up in mine so I wouldn't lose her. I just kind of held your hand at the party and then I just never let go. Hello. Later on that evening, I kind of started asking questions. Will your dad be mad if I kissed you? And you said no. Would your mom be mad if I <laughs> kissed you? And you said no. And then I asked, would you be mad if I kissed you? And then whenever you said no, that's when I kissed you. Yeah. And then we're like, what the heck? Both of us were in each other's friend zones for years. I had some decisions to make. Did I want to keep you or did I just want to make this a VidCon thing? And so I had to do something extremely, extremely special. I cooked fish and then we drove out and we went up to the Hollywood sign and we watched the sunset and we took some pictures and I told her, I don't want to let you go back to Alabama without you being my girlfriend. And I asked you if you would say yes. And we did. I did. So we're kind of like a YouTube couple in a way because we met at Playlist Live. We started dating at VidCon. So thanks, YouTube. 2013 is 
our year, hashtag. I just, I have a very strong belief that 2013 is gonna be the biggest year of our lives so far. There's all, like, everything that we've done for all the years before, everything we've built up so far, it's all gonna pay off in 2013, I just know it. Oh look, Beverly Hills over there. Okay, look. That's a, I thought that was a lump of garbage. That is actually It's actually kind of decoration. <laughs> I thought it was a lump of garbage, but then I realized we're in Los Angeles, so it's a piece of art. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm really excited about you moving to LA. Are you excited? I'm so excited. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be great. Lately I've been feeling lower than a limbo stick and go Stressing out all about the things I know I can't control Everything is going but not the way the handbook said Instead of living I'm just drilling further into my own head But Next episode of Nation. We're sneaking down from the Hollywood sign. Okay, oh, fine. Fine. Just lights I'm everywhere. Everything. I'm a Dorian Deck. Hi, I'm Carly. I'm um I'm Rebecca Black. I'm Alexa Losi. Hey, I'm Jake. Oh y'all, what's up? Because